this. Hey man, this nigga said like he said he don't like the music. All right, that that that's what that is. But now this nigga starting to go just overboard. When I see this nigga, I don't I, I don't I don't know how to be a fuck nigga. I have to say, hey my nigga, what's up with that right there? What's I'm saying? What's up with that dog? Do we got a do we got a personal issue? What's going on, dog? And the way you answer that question is going to set that shit off. But niggas ain't trying to hear all that. Oh, no, I'm just a radio guy. So are you saying, when you say, oh, no, that mean, okay, you're going to stop doing that shit. You can't say, oh, no, I'm just a radio guy. Then I leave and you keep doing the same shit. Because then next time I come up this bitch, we ain't going to have the same type of, you know what I'm saying, decorum. Next time I come up this bitch, you're going to be like Birdman and them. Fuck your music ain't went nowhere. You begging motherfuckers on Instagram live to listen to your new mixtape cause it's heat. I don't mind being a bear of bad news, my nigga. Yo shit is trash. Call up these people at Quality Key Production so they can get you some old lyrics. They can get you some old concepts. They can get you the beats that you motherfucking need to get your shit to the next level. Get your shit together, big homie. Who this scum already wasn't even trying to say nothing bad about people, but you, you you're on your little high horse now. And for all you little old heads out here who want to get on this little high horse, like try to get at the new niggas, like man, y'all niggas be really washed up unless these new niggas really fuck with y'all on that platforms. Like niggas really ain't fucking with y'all. And also, we don't. Welcome back to the Big Face Podcast. I'm Ayo Conseco. You already know all that shit. Hey, listen here. First off, with academics, uh, this is the first nigga, I mean, let, let, let it be known. It was the first nigga that shot me out. The first big nigga that actually shot me out. I was wondering why I got such a big blast in the beginning of my whole career and shit like that. It's because this nigga actually shot me out. And I was, you know what I'm saying, just, I didn't know this shit, whatever like that. So I'm just on the same shit that everybody else on, like, uh, academics, whatever like that. Fuck that nigga, whatever. But that nigga, after doing that shit... This nigga actually hit me up on Instagram and shit like that. Like, what the fuck? This one I was just, like, coming up. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Crazy as fuck. And any nigga who's trying to do something within this industry, this music entertainment business, whatever like that, you know what the fuck, you know what I'm saying, shit like that mean to you. When you trying to climb up and you don't have shit going on, like, you trying to get people to follow you and shit like that and fuck with you and shit like that. And, um, what was the nigga name? Um... And I hate I forgot the, the rapper's name. It was a rapper who said on Twitter, I think Danny Boom, I don't know, what, I, I hate I forgot this nigga name, but he said on Twitter that why can't we switch out Big Facts Podcast for academics and shit like that. And um, I didn't know this shit was going on. I don't got no fucking Twitter and shit like that. And that, that's what brought academics to, you know what I'm saying, speak out and, you know what I'm saying, he said I, I've been listening to this nigga for two days and shit like that. So, me, myself, I'm the type of nigga, man, if you do something for me while I'm fucked up and down bad, whatever like that, I don't have no choice but to... Hello? She hung up on me. The fuck? If you do something for me while I'm down bad... I don't have a choice in the matter, but you know what I'm saying? Just be like real, like, man, dog, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that shit because I'm fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, once you up and shit like that, you on Puff Daddy level, it don't matter if a nigga give you $100 and shit like that. Like, what the fuck? I'm, I'm already up. Giving a nigga $20 when he ain't got shit, that means everything. You know what I'm saying? I remember every nigga that did anything gave me a ride when I ain't have a car. You know what I'm saying? I remember that shit. So, with that, if it was a little situation, some little bullshit, I, w I wouldn't speak about it. But at this point, this shit that he just did, uh, Yuck Mouth spoke about this shit. He's into it with Vic Mensa. He on his Twitch. He drunk. It's a lot of things wrong with this shit. But what he just did was said that you old niggas are over with. Unless these young niggas help y'all out. Even though that statement may be somewhat true, it's obvious that what he's doing is pitting 
one against the other. And he knows that these young niggas don't, he knows what the, he sees what the fuck is going on. He's a, um, like the librarian of fucking music. Like he's seen these different eras of fucking music. Um, he's lived through it. He's not one of these young niggas. Like he's our age in the 28, 29, 30 level. He up there with us. So you know how music has changed. You know that this new shit that niggas come out with, even though it's, it's good, Bounce in the club and shit like that. These niggas are retarded. You know? Oh. I almost didn't see you standing there. Come on in. It's cold out. Hey, have you heard? For the whole month of December, AO Nation is having a blowout sale. Get any hat and shirt combination for $30. That means snapbacks, scullies, big facts, are you serious? My favorite, $30. Also, for the whole month of December, when you go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10, you'll get an email back letting you know that Christmas doesn't exist. <laughs> Be sure when you hit the PayPal to donate, you go to paypal.me forward slash Aaron337 if you want your donation read on the show. Remember, the AO Nation donation conversation is every other Sunday. Don't be late. I'm serious. Also, don't forget. Get your shit together, big homes. Alright, get the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas are actually really retarded and shit like that. And this new wave has brought on a whole lot of new fads that have, that, that are actually right now hurting us as a community. As a community, it's hurting us. Like, this whole film, all your crime shit to be more live, that shit come from this new age. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's, like I said, if you finna go out and do some shit, this the shit to listen to. Like, I can't help that if, if you actually... I don't know. I don't, I don't know, like, because it's like street niggas, we gonna bop to, you know what I'm saying, Lil Baby and Kodak Black, you know what I'm saying? But it's kind of like that Trio Fam shit, like, you know what I'm saying? I can't listen to Trio Fam unless I'm in a club. I never play that shit in the car. You know what I'm saying? It's club music. Because in the club, you ain't listening for lyrics and content and, and something to, to mentally grow off of. You're just trying to bounce and fuck with a bitch and shit like that. So I feel like that's intellectually dishonest for him to act as if there's not a problem with the music that's being brought to the forefront by these new young niggas. Now, and also, the fact that, the fact of how these new young niggas are being picked. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a coincidence that only the most retarded of niggas are being brought to the forefront. Niggas that have no morals, you know what I'm saying? The most, you know what I'm saying, throwed off niggas are being brought to the forefront. We got a, 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 a fucking interview with Kodak Black right now with this nigga. Like I said, the nigga was talking like, you know what I'm saying? It was, he wasn't, he didn't seem that intelligent. You know what I'm saying? And that's what his, I guess, fan base likes. This new era of motherfuckers who like Bad Baby. How in the fuck does that help us? So with this shit you're doing right here, it, it's like, come on, my nigga. If, if you got a problem with Vic Mensa and Ebro and shit like that, don't put that shit on, like, don't do it like that because obviously what you're doing is young niggas and the young niggas fans are all over the internet. The older niggas and their fans don't really fuck with the internet like that. So obviously you're going to get a way, you're going to get way more love. You know what I'm saying? It's going to look like you got way more people on your side because 
all of the people that are backing what the fuck you're talking about are backing the people that you're talking about online. While the nigga that you talking about, you know what I'm saying, that you trying to fuck over, them motherfuckers ain't nowhere near the fucking internet. They don't give a fuck about that shit. So I, I just feel like it, it, that, that was just a, a, um, it's a chess move, but I feel like that's some sneaky shit, whatever like that. Um, past that, let's go, let's go deeper. Respect the hypocrisy that's going on with none of y'all. Anybody who's going to call out X, anybody who's going to try to make a moment with Kodak, if you in your own backyard didn't make a moment or do the same thing with Fabulous, and I love Fabulous. I hate that I have to use you as a reference. I love you. But if you ain't doing Fabulous, you're not a real person. You're trying to pick on the young niggas. And I get it. Like, you know, we haven't developed. There's a couple other faces that are really um, representative of the new or younger generation. And I get I'm one of them. So, you know, like, I'm, I'm probably, I don't, I'm, I'm not gassing or whatever. I'm probably one of the most visible ones now. So they throw everything on me. So I take all the bullets for 6 9 getting locked up. I take all the bullets for X getting killed. Shit. I see somebody was like, yo, academics likes Kodak and look what he's charged. You know what I mean? I, I get that I do that, but um and by the way, for anybody who's who rocks with the new generation or the new type of mo um the newer artist who's making new music, if you be trying to dick ride them older niggas, like you're really lost, okay? Cause to be honest, you just don't have a name for them to pick on you. Anyway. See what I'm saying? That's divisive. What you just said was pick a side. You can't like Jada Kiss and fucking Kodak Black. You can't like I want to say Jim Jones. You can't like Dipset and Lil Pump. I get, and that's that's truly true. That actually, that's that's a real, really, that's a fucking fact. If you fuck with Lil Pump, ain't no fucking way that you fuck with Dipset. Ain't no fucking way. So really, you just told the truth, but you said in a fucked up way. You told niggas pick a side. Huh? That's, that's... Um, Ebro, you're doing some really weird shit just for reigns, my dude. You have Vic Mensa on your show, and clearly he's going through a rebrand. I'm telling you this. If you didn't know, he, he's going through a rebrand. You know what you should have said to him? Vic Mensa, you didn't come in a biker jacket today. You've been rocking a biker jacket for the last four years. What's up with that? You should say, Vic Mensa, you used to rock eyeliner. Why are you not, like, you look the most regular we've seen you before. You cut your hair. You're not rocking hoop air. You, you're, you're trying to be regular. What's up with that? You didn't do that. Also, you could have talked about his music. Yo, Vic Mensa, from internet tapes to shit, even the shit you were putting out, like, last year, compared to you dropping a song like Empathy where you're trying to get on some controller vibes, that was 2016, by the way. So you're late on that. Second of all, you then try to put out uh, a record go listen actually do not go listen to it. I don't play do not go listen to this song this is Vic Mensa's new song Vic Mensa please don't listen to this garbage I'm gonna save you from it I'll play it you and you, you. alright we're gonna uh, look here this don't thing I gotta say about this look my nigga you made a statement and Charlemagne made a statement why the fuck are you running up on the internet guy? Or, or why the fuck you running up on the radio? I'm the radio guy. And then you said fucking, um, uh, why you getting tough with me? I'm just the internet guy and shit like that. Like y'all are acting as if, all right, don't, don't, don't do nothing to me because I'm, I'm, uh, you wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? Like that type of shit. But I would hit a motherfucker with glasses if he kept on goddamn, Playing with me. Like, when Vic Mensa came up to the show, whatever like that, we understand, like, that was a whole whatever off guard and shit like that. You didn't understand. Uh, um, I don't know what the fuck happened behind the scenes. But now, obviously, you're, you're picking at him. Like, there's no way that you would not understand that next time Vic Mensa sees you, he wants to fight. And you, your defense cannot be, why you running up on me? I'm, I'm just the internet guy. You are going directly at him personally. And this is the this is the only fact I want to get out in this video. That as bloggers, as niggas who talk about what happens in the news and shit like that, there's a very fine line in between you reporting the news and you actually trying to disparage and fuck up a nigga career. It's a very thin line. So you have to be as a, someone who nowadays, 
somebody who even writers, people who work at the root and in the shade room and all uh, uh, ebony and all these fucking uh, the source uh, complex. Joe Budden didn't like uh, when uh, academics, somebody didn't like when somebody made a statement about something that they did. Like, a right at complex wrote something about, like, these motherfuckers have opinions. Reporting the news is, XXX Temptation was killed. Giving an opinion is, Vic Mensa's music is trash. That, when you're an influencer, that shit, what the fuck is this on my goddamn lip? That shit can fuck up his money. My sales took a hit because you went online and said this about my shit. Even though everybody's going to have their own opinion about the music and shit like that, but you are obviously going straight at this nigga. Personally, you trash. and like, You made a whole fucking video about fuck this nigga, fuck Rock Nation, everything around him. So you really don't like him as a person. You can no longer use that fucking, um, ah, nah, why you getting tough with me? I'm just the internet guy. No. No, you ain't no internet guy no more. Like, you a nigga just like everybody else. Especially when you dealing with, like I said on the other video, when you dealing with niggas that are, like, the young niggas that you talk to like so much, if you say something about them niggas, about their music, like, this shit was trash and shit like that, they would have no understanding about, oh, no, I was just reporting the news and giving my opinion. They would think that you were coming at them personally. You know what I'm saying? Because their whole life they've been dealing with the, well, the real street niggas, the real ones, have been dealing with issues like if a motherfucker talk about me, when I see that motherfucker, we're going to handle that. We're going to get some straightening on that situation. Well, that's how niggas used to do it. We're going to get some straightening on that situation. You can't expect niggas to be like, oh, no, nah, he the media guy. He just a diplomat. You can't fuck with him. Hell, fuck no. Nah. My nigga, what's up with this? And especially if you talk about me in the way you talk about me, affects my sales. So your words are actively fucking with my goddamn money. So I have to talk with you. I, I have to talk to you, my nigga. We got to see what's going on. I got to see you. The only thing I want to say is all that goddamn radio guy and internet guy shit. And I'm just a blogger and shit like that. Don't get mad at me because a lot of you fucking bloggers do that shit. Y'all be throwing y'all, and a lot of y'all try to stay safe with uh, y'all just stop the violence and all this shit like that. But my nigga, real deal, dog. Any one of these rap niggas can get mad at any nigga who report news or get their opinion. And you need to be prepared for that shit. Ain't no, I'm an internet guy. None of that shit, my nigga. If you get on this motherfucker and state your motherfucking opinion, then a nigga has the goddamn right to come down and step down on you and say, hey, my nigga, what's up with all that shit you talking about? And that goddamn internet guy shit ain't no motherfucking pass. And you fuck, and, that, and that's the reason why you fuck niggas don't come outside. This is another reason why you niggas hide your fucking face, too. Peep that shit, my nigga. Peep that these niggas won't show their face on nothing. These niggas will tell you to go to their Instagram, and they still don't show their goddamn face. They don't show their face on the YouTube, Instagram. These niggas hide like a motherfucker because they know that the shit they talk about can get them fucked up in real life. Niggas should not respect any fucking blogger nigga who give his fucking opinion but won't show his motherfucking face. Just like that, dog. You can give the example of fucking academics and shit like that because that's how the fuck he came out. You know what I'm saying? But that's who the fuck he is, though. He done told you he a whole ass nigga and a bitch ass nigga. Unless you gonna come out with that same fucking eat it. Stop acting like the fuck you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I'm talking about, that shit throw me sometimes that niggas be just giving their opinion on some shit, whatever like that, but niggas ain't never nowhere to be seen on nothing. Can't never be addressed on nothing. Nigga, make it clear to all who the fuck you is and what the fuck you trying to do here, all you trying to make some money, man, just say that shit. And stop with all that opinion shit, man. Because that's faggot shit. You, real deal, you might as well have a fucking, uh, a fake account. A faceless account. You just anonymous. Don't nobody know what the fuck you look like. Can't nobody say like. And I, I think that's faggot shit, dog. Like, I can see you and everything you got going on, but you, I don't want you to look at me so you can judge me. That's that's gay shit to me, dog. That's gay shit. Ain't no more internet shit. Ain't no more radio shit. If you speak on a nigga, then that nigga is gonna come and see what's going on. Business my ass. 
a nigga could say, ah, oh, well, um, uh, fuck, uh, if, if, if you gon' if you gonna go around and try to address everybody who say something bad about you, you're gonna be doing this shit all day. Hey, look here. I don't wanna talk to everybody. I wanna talk to the main niggas who actually goddamn affect my goddamn selves. And I'm saying this, even though it might be unprofessional and all that shit like that, it's a human goddamn emotion. Niggas is not robots soon as they get a fucking deal or as soon as they become a celebrity. Niggas ain't robots. Niggas know how they handle business. Hey, man. This nigga said, like, he said he don't like the music. All right, that, that, that's what that is. But now this nigga starting to go just overboard. When I see this nigga, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know how to be a fuck nigga. I have to say, hey, my nigga, what's up with that right there? What's, I'm saying, what's up with that, dog? Do we got a, do, we got a personal issue? What's going on, dog? And the way you answer that question is going to set that shit off. But niggas ain't trying to hear all that. Oh, no, I'm just a radio guy. So are you saying, when you say, oh, no, that mean, okay, you're going to stop doing that shit. You can't say, oh, no, I'm just a radio guy. Then I leave and you keep doing the same shit. Because then next time I come up this bitch, we ain't going to have the same type of, you know what I'm saying, decorum. Next time I come up this bitch, you're going to be like Birdman and them. And that's for everybody. Everybody got the same thing across the board. I want y'all to start looking at these niggas on this motherfucker who give their goddamn opinion, claim they reporting the news, but will not show their fucking face. That shit should be suspect in a motherfucker to every motherfucker that watch that shit, man. That ain't no different than a motherfucker coming on your account on your Instagram and saying a whole bunch of bullshit from a fake account. It's the same shit. So that's what that is, dawg. So academic, hey, dawg, look here. Only issue I have, also, uh, Star, Star put up a live and shit like that, a response to what you said about him, whatever, like that. In some kind of way, his shit got taken down. And I don't know how the fuck that shit happened, but I think that's gay as fuck also for niggas to be behind the scenes pulling strings and get niggas' whole shit taken apart. That's some faggot ass shit, dawg. So I don't know how the fuck that happened, but I know Star put out a whole fucking response to you. And now, goddamn, you go back and look at that shit. That shit is down like a motherfucker. That shit is old with. It's gone. Nobody addressed that shit neither. So we're going to just put that on the table also. So it's the Big Facts Podcast. I hope we got some understanding and shit like that. Make sure you hit the PayPal. See y'all in a minute. Love.